Hello, my name is Leon, and I'm a perinatal and under ones worker with the East Hertfordshire Family Centre Service. Today, I'd like to talk about mental health. Something that has really affected us over this last year is, of course, the COVID pandemic, and no one has come away unscathed. It has compromised us and everything. It has changed our lives immeasurably. But mental health and well-being is something we should always tap into. It's something we should always pay attention to, to make sure that we are okay. Now today I'm going to go through some steps with you, um, my trusted papers here, just some ideas that you can try and think about to help you with your mental, coping with your mental health and the way you might feel about things in general, at the moment and in future. Talk about your feelings. Talking about your feelings can help you stay in good mental health and deal with times when you're feeling troubled. Just think about you having a, an emotional jug inside your, your, your body. Emotions and feelings, etc., trickle in there constantly. And sometimes it fills up quite a lot. It's really important to address that every so often and turn the tap on to just let a little, little bit of that out occasionally not always easy to do and sometimes it comes to the brim and just overflows and we cry, we laugh hysterically, whatever it is we do to, to cope with it. That's okay, that's fine, that's human to do so, but just try to keep a check on that. Avoid looking at social, uh, negative social media. Avoid what's called doom scrolling, where you watch things that are really negative but somehow they are very addictive. Not at all healthy. Choose wisely. Social media can be very positive. It can be very uplifting, supportive, and very helpful. So do choose wisely. Keep active. Regular exercise can boost your self-esteem. It can help you concentrate, to sleep, to feel better. So whatever it is you like to do, whether you like to go out for a walk or a run, or you just jump up and down, you dance to music, yoga, Pilates, Anything at all that helps you feel good and just gets your circulation going is really very positive for you. Deep breathing is very good for you too. We tend to shallow breathe when we're stressed. And if you take in a deep, deep breath of air and really exhale that air fully out, you've got rid of all that stale air that we hardly ever address inside our bodies. It really invigorates the mind and the body. So try to do that a few times a day. You'll be amazed at how clear-headed you feel afterwards and how much better you feel too. Exercise keeps the brain and other vital organs healthy and is a significant factor in improving your health, mental health and your well-being. Eat well, that goes without saying. If you eat well, you feel better. But eating well, Feed your brain too. Your brain needs a good mixture of nutrients to stay healthy and to function well, just like the organs in your body. A diet that's good for your physical health is also good for your mental health. Drink sensibly. Tea, coffee, caffeine can sometimes give you a bit of a high. Sometimes it actually boosts you and wakes you up and it actually takes away a bit of that stress. Lots of fluids like water is excellent for you. Keep hydrated. Where alcohol is concerned, drink sensibly. We often drink alcohol to change our mood and some people drink to, to deal with fear or loneliness. But the effect is only temporary. When the drink wears off, you feel worse because of the way the alcohol has affected your brain and the rest of your body. Drinking is not a good way to manage your feelings. A glass of wine occasionally is okay, but in moderation and with company as well. Keep in touch, call someone. If you're feeling lonely or stressed or you're finding something difficult, call someone, contact someone. Now you can do that by calling them on the phone, you can drop them a line, you can drop them a text, you can chat to them face to face on various forms of media these days with WhatsApp and FaceTime, oh, the list goes on. 
keep the lines of communication open. It's good for you. Ask for help. We're none of us superhuman. We all sometimes are overwhelmed by situations and by the day-to-day -day things that we face. And sometimes things don't go according to plan and that throws us too. So don't bottle it up. You know, do ask for help if you need it. If things are getting too much for you and you feel you can't cope, then do get help. There are plenty of organisations out there. We are here at the Family Centre to help too. Talk to your family and friends. They may be able to help or sometimes they can just listen. And that's sometimes enough just to offload and say something out loud. It helps to just clear your mind a little and makes things a little easier. Take a break. We are so busy with so many hats on at the moment, trying to work, trying to look after our children, trying to be the cook, the bottle washer, the psychologist, the everything. And it is difficult. You're not a teacher if you're teaching children at home, you're not a teacher, so you do your best. Your children are, are learning in totally different ways with you and they are learning invaluable things. So really, um, you, you have to um, give yourself credit there that they are in a home environment, they're seeing how you are at home, you're spending time as a community and that's really important. But take a break. If you need to just change your scene, get up, go outside, look out the window, five minutes or something, just doing something different can clear your head. Sometimes you need a, a half an hour, sometimes you need a couple of hours. It all depends on what you feel you need. A few minutes can be enough, enough to de-stress you, but give yourself some me time regularly. Do something you're good at. What do you love doing? What activities can you lose yourself in? What did you love doing in the past? We've sometimes forgotten about the things, the little things that we enjoy doing, whether it was drawing or colouring in or, or doing crossword puzzles or Sudoku or whatever, something that kind of gets your head going, listening to music and whatever. It's, you know, there are so many things we can do that we deny ourselves because we're so busy all the time. So do something, doing, doing an activity that you enjoy and are good at, usually boosts your self-esteem because you know you've achieved something, you've done it well and you can say, hey, look at that. What? I didn't know I could still, still do that. Have a, have a go at something. Accept who you are. We are all very different. It's much healthier to accept that you are unique and not to try to be someone else. Feeling good about yourself boosts your own self-confidence and it helps you to learn new skills because you're open to learning new things. You go different places, you meet different friends. Good self-esteem helps you cope when life can take a difficult turn. Focus on what really matters. Don't overwhelm yourself and try to tackle everything. It's impossible. If it's too much, leave it for another day. It'll wait. Celebrate the little things. Don't chastise yourself for not achieving much. It's okay. Some days are easy and other days are not. Care for others. Friends are really important. We help each other whenever we can. So it's a two-way street. For the men out there, sometimes it's difficult for you to express your feelings or even speak at all. Try to, to talk. Try to share. Don't bottle up. Talk to your friends, be a listener to your friends. Talk, listen and share. Really don't keep things inside. It isn't healthy. This has been an extraordinary year for dads. Missing baby scans, missing hospital appointments, some even missing the birth of your baby. This wasn't in your birth plan, mums and dads. And it has impacted hugely, we know. But there was no choice at the time. It had to be as it was, I'm afraid. But take a moment to look at things in a different way, in a positive way. You have spent quality time with your baby and your children. 
baby has had mummy and daddy there to talk to and to learn from. Your baby knows that they have a voice and are listened to and valued. Children are resilient. They take things as they come. It's we adults who tend to overcomplicate. So take a leaf out of your child's book. Take it as it comes a little more. Do take care of yourself. You're no good to anyone if you don't get, take care of yourself. Look after you. It isn't being self-indulgent, it is essential. Without you, few things would function so well. Try to follow a path that makes you feel stronger and more confident. Ask for help, give help, talk, listen, share. Goodbye.